Johnny started there for iceboxing.com with Graham McCormick. Yeah. Um, just a week out from the fight. Just firstly, just down here, it's a packed gym down here. Yeah. You, you come down and do the kids, is that? Uh, I, I help out with Sean, I had the coach and the kids, myself and Shane Williams, Keane Heron, we all help out here with, with the kids training, the kids and stuff like that. And my own young for the trends on here as well, you know what I mean? So, I something you enjoy or just something yeah. you feel you need I, to do or a bit of I enjoy it first of all for, more than anything. I, I mm. love training the kids, I love seeing young young fighters coming through and stuff like that. And of course, then my own young friends down here as well coming up and through. So, I just love being down here. I love being a part of the boxing club. It's a great club here, Sean, it's a great club going. And, and we've, it's a great community here, great, great bunch of lads. And, no, it's great seeing them all, all progressing in their careers, their young careers, you know what I mean? And just a word on Dylan, like, I right know. Ah, he's, he's, he's the future. So we can play this back. Future. Yeah, he's going to be, if, he, if he's excited the way he is now, he's going to have a very, very bright future in boxing, you know what I mean? So that, that, that's great for me, like, it means when I do yeah. finish up myself, I'll be able to go forward, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and it'll keep you in it, like, 100%, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I, when I finish up, then it'll be Dylan's turn, you know what I mean? And I won't be getting punched anymore, and <laughs> he'll be getting punched, you know? I, I, no pressure on him. And no. then just the back, the, well, not the last time I've seen you, but probably the last time in, in a boxing sense was just after the. When after, I boxed shit up in Dublin, you had to draw. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, that's that, that's that. No, that's yeah. That, you know what I mean? I boxed shit. I boxed terrible. You know, like, I, I, I'm not one of them, you know, I think you know me well enough, and I don't make excuses. I boxed terrible. I didn't perform on the night. I didn't feel good mentally. I didn't feel great. And I, my performance it hindered my performance and how I felt mentally. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, that's, that's what it was really. I mean, in fairness, Octavian Grady came over, he gave it a go. He was, you know, he's not one of the German comes over, his hands up and just takes the bet, and he came to win, like, you know what I mean? And I was sitting down around town, and Sean was like, man, you're fucking losing this fight, like, wake up. And I was like, what? He's like, man, you're losing, man. I was like, shit, I was out in a room, I won round three and four, you know what I mean? But it was too late then, like, you know, and like I said, I don't need to and I said, like, you know, no respect to any German because without German there is no boxing. Yeah. That's what makes boxing, and, and some German are absolutely unbelievable fighters, but like, at this stage of my career, I've won a title, I've finally become, I feel like I'm kind of past the four round or tournament maybe. And was that you know, the, the I just issue? couldn't get up for it, I just yeah. couldn't get up for it, man. You know what I mean? I just wasn't in the mood for it, I just couldn't get up for the fight. And he's the but wrong tried, journey, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah when you're not up for it, like, he's yeah. the guy that's coming to take right yeah, off. Yeah. Like, and I just dragged my feet in the ring, you know what I mean? I just didn't want to be around that night, you know what I mean? But again, there's no one to blame for it but myself, Johnny, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's but uh, it just afterwards, it was a sort of a mad dressing room scene because it was packed, like, if you. Yeah. But just there was a real somber feel. I don't know, like, were you thinking of calling it a day there? Were you close even? Yeah, you... look, after that performance, I was, you know what I mean? And then when I went to home, my smart, my, my uncle Dylan said, like, Dad, don't, you can't go on that performance. So first, first thing he said was, <laughs> Dad, that was a terrible performance, worst of seeing in your box shit, which is true, but like, saw the shine, saw the chain. Yeah. The, I'd rather hear the truth than hear, than hear, oh, well done, you know what I mean? You gotta mm. try. A box shit, like, tell it as it is, you know what I mean? And then my uncle said, Dad, you can't go on that performance, you know what I mean? And, and like everyone that knows me knows that wasn't me. That's not how I box. I'm a good fighter on that. And what I do, I, when, I'm on, when I'm 100%, I'm a hardness work for anybody. I wasn't 100% that night. I was shit. And I, I feel like for myself, for my young friend, for all my kids, and for, for, for my team, my supporters, I need to go out and improve what I, what I actually am and show what I actually am, you know what I mean? And, yeah, and after that then, like you're saying, it was a bad performance or whatever, like, and, but you still wanted to fight on for you. But did you think... There was avenues or what way were you going to do it? Like, I, I didn't, did you think title fights could come? I'll tell you what I said to myself after that fight. I said, you either get in and change things around or retire. So what I did was like, uh, it's no secret, like the diet has always been my hardest part of, yeah, of yeah. boxing. Like, you know, I've had great nutritionists, some of my very good friends, Noel Bourne, Sean Cray, you know, Jamie Kelly, all the boys have helped me out, but they've been my friends and I haven't taken them as serious and haven't been as hard on me as maybe I'd need them to be. Mm. So I said to myself, I sat down, I had, I had a chat with my team and I said, look, I need to change things up. I need to, I need to, I need to change up my nutrition. So I got a box of nutritionist from England, Liam Williams, who's a works with professional fighters, boxers and MMA fighters, and completely changed this whole camp around. You know what I mean? My weight is, is the best it's ever been. I'm only about two and a half kilos, maybe three to go, but still about nine, ten days. I've never been that close to weighing them all in my entire life. And what is you know the difference, I mean? is it? I just I just got really serious about the food and, and didn't act the bollocks. Not that I, not that I was good at eating snakes, slices of pizza. Like, yeah, but just, yeah, yeah. Either some days I wasn't enough calories, some days I too much calories, whereas now I have everything. I have everything. <laughs> And 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 boy, everything mm. is sorted. I mean, I don't have to. I don't have, like my food is sent to me every single day. What I need to eat, and I'm eating that food. My my my. This camp has been unbelievable. I've had the best fan I've ever had. Felt unbelievable in the gym. No injuries. No touch wood. No injuries. No nothing. I feel brilliant. And obviously, it's down to the food and the drinking the right amount of water and stuff like that. And 
So no, just those little small changes for me, this camp have made a massive difference. And it will show next week. And then just on next week, like your thoughts on that fight now going into it? I'm excited, man. This is a very, very good fight. He's a good fighter, but I know at 100% I'm a hard work for anybody. Yeah. When I'm 100%, I can go in there and give anybody a hard work. I fully believe I'll beat this fella next week. I've, I've watched him, I've studied what he does, what he's good at, what he's bad at. I fully believe the version that I am right now, I'll go over there and I will get a very, very dominating win over there next Saturday night. I've no doubt in my mind whatsoever I'll be coming home with that belt next Saturday. Uh, and it, like... I don't know, I've probably said this a hundred million times in your career, like, what would winning that belt mean to you, like, from... Oh, man, it's huge, like, you know what I mean, like, people say, like, oh, wouldn't, like, this is, first of all, it's a second title, this is my second title that I'll be winning, like, you know what I mean? It's also a British boxing more controlled Kelly title, which is actually a ranking title, yeah. which gives me a ranking, so, like, it's huge, man, I was told I wouldn't win a pro fight, this is about to be my 10th pro win, my second pro title, back fighting on fights on TV, you know, these are what dreams are made of, like, a win here can really give me a massive fight at the back of it, but, like, I'm going into this fight in with the mindset that I've not to lose here and everything to gain. I lose again, so what? Who cares? But I win here and look what it, look what it does, open massive doors for me. So I have everything to gain and not to lose. I've not to lose here. I'm going yeah. in here, all guns blazing. Whatever he does, I will I will out trump him. Like he's not gonna outbox me, he's, and he's definitely not gonna outfight me. Hopefully he comes to fight me in the middle of the ring, so it's exciting. But I, I do believe he is gonna come meet me in the middle of the ring at some point, maybe might be a two or three rounds in, but it's a ten round fight like and at some point he's gonna have to come meet me in the middle of the ring and it's gonna be it's gonna be an all out war like. I can tell by him I watched his last one or two fights, you watch his last one or two fights, you can see he's gonna come forward, it's gonna be very, very exciting, but I'm gonna be the one coming on top of that fight in two weeks time. There's no doubt in my mind at all. Lovely, I appreciate it.